Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to specify a color in Excel VBA. So you might want to change the background color of a cell, uh, the color of a border around a cell, or the color of the font. So let's first of all look at how to color the background of a cell. So we're going to write this in with some VBA code. And uh, the first thing we need to do is open up the Visual Basic Editor. So I generally use the shortcut key Alt F11 for this. Alt F11 will open up the Visual Basic Editor. Now, uh, the next thing to do is to show the Project Explorer. So that's View Project Explorer. That may already be on your screen, so you, you may not have to do that. And then what we need to do is insert a module, a container for our uh, procedures. Double click on the module, that will give you a code window. I'm going to close down the Explorer so we've got a bit more room for our code. So very simply, we're just going to color uh, different cells uh, using different methods. So let's create a sub procedure here. Let's call it a color cell. And the first method we're gonna use, well, is very simple to use indeed. We're going to color uh, cells A1 to A10 begin with and what you do is you use the interior property of that uh, object of that range the interior property that's the uh, the background color uh, or the background of the cell that you're referencing there and we're interested in the color obviously and the simplest way to do this is to use a visual basic color so if I type for example VB blue or vb green or vb black then there are certain colors that you can just type in in that way now uh, you can get a list of things if we uh, if i type vb then control space uh, you can look through that list for the vb colors it is quite a long list but you've got things like vb black vb blue for example uh, vb I think there's a VB cyan in there somewhere. Yes, a VB cyan. Should we go for VB cyan? Let's go for VB cyan. So there we are. So range A1 to A10, interior.color equals VB cyan. And there we are. So that's one way of doing things, but you've got a limited palette with those VB colors. So let's look at another option. So this time we're going to format the background of column B. So let's say B1 to B10. And again, it's the interior property, uh, color. Now, this time we're gonna use some inbuilt um, RGB colors. So again, I'm gonna type RGB, then control space. And you've got these rather fancy RGB colors here. I can't say I've tried all of them because I do have a life, but RGB Burley Wood, for example, let's try that. Play, there we are, that's what Burley Wood looks like. Um, let's try a different one. I know you're excited. RGB, let's try something. Uh, uh, cornflower Blue. And that's what Cornflower Blue looks like. So you can explore. Uh, those wonderful color descriptions in your own time. Now, uh, the next method we're going to use is uh, going to use uh, index numbers. Now, just pasted it in, in there for you, the index numbers that you can use for this palette of 56 colors. So if I say range... Um, well, let's do column C1 to C, colon C10. Interior again. Uh, dot color index for this one, color index. Equals, and then you just specify the number. So for example, let's go for that uh, paler yellow there. So let's put in 27. And there we are, I've got that yellow uh, nicely put in there. Okay, so what if you want to choose a very specific color? For example, if normally when I, without VBA, I would use this little drop down 
and I've got this pattern of color here so I could go to more colors um, and I get even more options here so for example say I wanted that particular color there if I go to custom what it does give is um, some numbers a red green and blue value 153 51255 am I going to remember that I don't know let's choose a different one Oh, 204255, 204255. So how do I reference that number in VBA? Well, you can range, actually, let's get rid of this thing here. Um, range uh, D1 colon D10 dot interior dot uh, color back to color for that one now you've got an rgb function here and that allows you to specify 204 comma zero comma 255 forgive me if that's not the number that we saw before but you get the idea 204 red green and blue values if I press play, there we are. Well, I did remember it. There we are. You have that nice uh, purple color there. So that's if you want a very specific color, uh, you can enter those RGB values in there for yourself. So four different methods there for uh, applying color to the background of a cell. So let's look now at how to change the font color within a cell. So um, if I write, hello, in cell F1. Let's see how I can uh, format that. So create another sub procedure, uh, font color. Okay, so um, I've got to specify the range I'm referring to. So we'll say that's F1. Okay, so then I can refer to the font property of that cell then uh, I can use basically any of the methods that I've used up here, I can use for um, uh, to color the font. So let's go for uh, the, say, the RGB method, shall we? So let's get, say equals RGB uh, 204.0255. Okay, and if I press play, there we are, it's formatted that cell. So all you've got to do is refer to the color property of the font within the cell, and then you can use any of these methods to specify the color. So finally, let's look at how to format the border color uh, for cells. We'll create another sub procedure, color borders. So we'll Format the borders and range A, A1 to A10. Uh, help if I had a colon in there. And we're referencing the borders property of that range. And then we want to specify the color. And again, you can use any of the methods we've previously used up here. So what should I use? Well, let's do the RGB inbuilt colors option so what should we go for the choice uh should we go for corn silk on this occasion right let's see if it works so i press play there we are that's apparently corn silk i just can't resist trying these different options rgb control space let's see what else there is here uh, in this list i've lost it now RGB, let's go for um, blue violet. And there we are. You can see that it has formatted the border in those ways. So, lots of different options to specify color. I'll show you how to apply it to cell background, to font color, and to borders. Uh, hopefully, there's a method there that you're going to find useful. Thanks very much for uh, listening to this video, and I really hope that it's been helpful.